Holla Peeps, it's your girl Cherie reporting live for Cherie TV. Watching ET with my baby. You know what? I worked out today. Then we went to dinner. She knew there's all these specials going on. And guess what I got for dinner? Chicken, which is healthy, with noodles and cream cheese sauce. Some cheesy sauce. Okay. Where's the diet in that? But I did have a salad too. So. It's all fucked up. I'm so full. But I'm not overly full. Yeah. No. But I got dessert too. I had a key lime pie. Her parents say she has quote it's profound issues with her body image and is upset so with the idea that she and others are That's all right. Amanda's parents arrived before this morning, oh. but the judge decided against issuing a conservatorship over Amanda since she was not present. Also new today, Amanda will remain in hospital. This is Amanda Bynes. All this after months of erratic behavior by Amanda, which led She's on TV to every night. This Monday after allegedly lighting a fire in the driveway. She just well, tried to light herself on fire or some shit. What the hell? And now Duchess Kate brought her little prince George out of public when it was just one day old. So why hasn't the world seen Kim Kardashian's daughter North was born 41 days ago? Could a big payday have something to do with it? American reality show royalty versus a British monarchy. It's a fun comparison to make about the future king of England, Andrew George, with the future king or queen of Hollywood, Queen North. Bradley Jacobs from Us Weekly on Stands Now has been tracking the new mom's approaches to parenting. And they have a surprising amount in common. They are both first time moms and a lot of interest in seeing pictures of their babies. Both new mommies are, for now, leading with their moms for support. Kate and Buckleberry, Kim and mom Chris's home. Buckleberry. Both face scrutiny over their pregnancy weights. While Kate was under the microscope for barely gaining any weight during her pregnancy, Kim was criticized for gaining too much. But in looking at their interaction with the public, the similarities end. Kate and William brought Prince George before the cameras the day after. Prince George. His name is George. By George, I think he's got it. A name. Contrast, Kim appears to be washing in, reportedly shopping that precious first photo of North for a seven-figure payday. Kim has basically been in hiding. She has not been out at all since giving birth. Well, Rex Diaz joins me now. Rex, I got my own thoughts. Oh, well, we haven't seen Kim since six weeks since she gave birth. So why do you think we haven't seen her out in public? Besides waiting for that big check for the first pictures, I think she really is her first in being a first-time mom. And, of course, she's going to be working really hard to get her body back. And she said, yeah, she'll probably come back in a while. Well, yesterday we showed you my partner, Rob Marciano, missing Candy Spelling's new $35 million condo, and he had quite the oops. Yeah, definitely. I would say that. Because what's the worst thing that could happen when you visit a rich person's home? You break something really expensive. <laughs> Sorry, Kitty. Rob, that's a French antique from Louis the Petit. I'm going back to the gym. Can I explain that? Kitty's new duplex spin house fits plenty of antiques, but it's a far cry from that 123 room mansion she used to live in. I am getting rid of a lot of stuff. Yeah. I mean, I have I have a huge storage facility. Huge is right. It's a 20,000 square foot storage facility, once a car museum. I thought it was a hoarder, which I kind of scared me because I do, I love to collect. And then I thought, oh no, my stuff is too many. I'm a collection of dog paintings. Candy's transition from mansion to duplex is all part of HGTV's Beyond Spelling Manor beginning Sunday. And if you like Candy's style, you can get some design tips at candyspelling.com. Thank you so much for having us in your home. You are so gracious. And if your kids and grandkids don't come over for movie night, I'll 
But I'm on the right track, y'all. I haven't been doing pancakes. Pancake day is Sunday. Gotta have fun at least once a week. No, yesterday I ate a salad. It was very, very good. No, that was actually for lunch. Yeah, that was lunch. I ate a salad. I ate all of it. I usually don't eat, eat like all of everything. It was so good. I had berries and strawberries and shit. Is it a movie? Is it a discovery show? Well, I just wanted to check in with you guys. Say hey. Every character in the movie gets to be sexually dysfunctional. You guys are sisters? Holla to all Cherie TV watchers out there. I love you guys. And there will be more Cherie TV coming up soon. I've got to really um, walk my dinner off. So... I'm going to go back to the gym. Gotta do it. I love you guys.